I don't know what God trying to say, oh, he said, slow down, or well, watch these niggas or what? Yo, it's Omega, man. We back in here with part two of King Vaughn. This guy trying to tell me to watch these niggas or what? And we're about to get into some shit, man. So this is what I got for you guys, right? That's little Dirk's lawyer, and that's her man. His name is Trouble, and he's connected to 21 Savage. Which is MC Trouble. I met 21 Savage two weeks ago. I told him that he's a dope talent. He's a, I think he's a phenomenal talent. I think he's the, to me, he's the best verse I want to hear in Atlanta right now. When he's on a record, he usually gives a really good 16 because I'm always trying to figure out what the hell this nigga gonna say. 21 on the ad lib. Anyways, Trouble was like, man, salute to 21. So Trouble, little Dirk's lawyer's man, is connected to 21 Savage. The reason I say that is because. 21 Savage is the one who bought King Vaughn's sister, the Range Rover. So why little Dirk's lawyer's man is buying King Vaughn's sister a truck? His new girlfriend may be able to help with the trouble with Law Park. You see, media takeout news has confirmed that trouble has fallen for his criminal defense lawyer. A pretty and shapely blonde named Nicole Mormon. Trouble first met Nicole when he hired her law firm Aurora and La Scala to represent him. Nicole, who represented rapper Lil Dirk on criminal matters, who assigned Trouble's case, and the two hit it off. The two had been keeping their romance a secret, but yesterday Trouble spilled the beans and revealed that the two are dating. Fans seem to like Trouble's new bae. They're calling her beautiful and thick. Look at the pictures that he posted. Yeah, see that shit? That just tells me little Dirk is behind a whole lot of shit. All the way from when he caught that case in Atlanta. Let me tell you something. That was not just a regular case. Because at the end of the day, when you got cops coming from Chicago to Atlanta, that's no longer a state case. When a cop can go from state to state, that becomes a federal cop. That means that's a federal case. Dirk knew something we don't know. Why Chicago cops came from Chicago to Atlanta to testify on a shooting case. Because there was a feds behind it, y'all. That's why that lawyer is also little Dirk's lawyer. And she's behind a whole lot of shit. And she was also at the airport. Somebody explained that. That's why I've been saying somebody's working with the cops. And little Dirk is suspect because he's too close to a lot of officials. Too close. Watch this. Chicago's mayor. Look at that. It must be nice to have all those connections, huh? That explains why little Dirk hooked up King Vaughn with his manager, who's cool with Kodak Black. Who's Kodak Black? Cool. With Kwando Rondo in them. At the end of the day, we all know they connected from down in Atlanta. Because even Vaughn was with Kwando Rondo at one time. Yeah, remember the video where Vaughn and Rondo was together? This in 63rd? Right when I linked up with Kodak. That's oh. when I stopped actually rapping. Because I actually had a song with Kodak. Pushing that record with Kodak. I mean, Kodak was you know, genuinely cool. Like, that was like my, like my brother for real. So we... 
mutually just had love for each other and then so there's the connection with him and Kodak and now here's the connection with Kodak and Rondo and them it's all coming together man it's all a puzzle they're all connected and explains how it was all a setup if I'm So there's the connection between Kodak and Rondo on FaceTime. And you heard the last person asking Kodak, did he talk to Tony One? That's the connection they all have with King Von's manager and Little Dirk. Little Dirk's lawyer is connected to Tony One Savage as well. Now you guys explain that. I think Little Dirk just knew the feds was coming down and he tried to get Vaughn to take the downfall for him. That's why they needed his ID in the airport. Now he's dead. Now he can pretty much blame it on Vaughn and his case gets dropped. And he also sacrifices him to the point where his career could take off. Win-win situation. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. Here's more stuff that tells me they wanted to hit Vaughn. Rondo and them already knew they were going to hit Vaughn. Young boy and them already knew they were going to hit Vaughn. They said it in their songs. They said it in tweets. Check this out. That's little Tim. That's the guy that killed Vaughn. He's warning Vaughn and dudes from Chicago to stop messing with Quando Rondo or there's going to be problems. Here's another tweet. The day before Vaughn got killed. Look at the date. Look what he says. Since my box didn't come in, one of you niggas' birthdays is not coming either. So you telling me that wasn't ready or preparing to get Vaughn? Listen to the lyrics on this song from Youngboy. Yeah, I heard what he said. Up in the club searching for one chain. There might be more than one, but we're searching for one chain. Old Black is the only crew who has more than one chain, but they won one, one specific one. Vaughn dropped this location that night, even though it didn't make a difference because his manager was pretty much making sure none of Vaughn's steppers had any guns on them. That's why he was so specific about making sure nobody had their weapon on them that night. He said it in the interview with DJ Academics, and he knew nobody was strapped. And the ones that were strapped, who didn't listen, Louis and Slutty, rest in peace, Slutty. Louis, I heard he got back home, getting better, got shot that night. They got shot that night because they knew something wasn't right and they kept their weapon on them. And Slutty shot Little Tim that night. Pretty sure I heard about that on that episode. Friends turn to enemies. Yeah, I heard about that. And I've been said that. Look at my videos. I've been said that Slutty shot Little Tim. And that's why he got shot. And that's why Louis shot at the undercover cop, thinking it was the, the ops, thinking it was the ops. And that's why he got shot as well. Think about it, y'all. That was the setup. Make sure we hit that like, share, comment. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Omega. We out of here, y'all. I don't know what God trying to say. Oh, he said, slow down.
Or watch these niggas or what? Vaughn should have definitely listened to his intuitions. This is when he noticed Dirk wasn't built like that. Look at that look. 